Hello, welcome to the Seven Sisters um, website. My name is Neptune Peniel and I come to you here and now to share with you the purpose of the Seven Sisters series. Um, I'd like to I'd like to update and clarify what that is. So writing these books is a part of my divine plan. And the question remains like what is there about these books? What is there about these books that's going to be helping others, going to be helping you? What can I offer with these books? So the purpose of the books um, I think the first is a vision. The reason why the series is, it's going to be a series of seven books is because it's showing a real time, real life growth within myself as I ascend and transcend and move along that pathway. We live in a world where there's an illusion that, you know, we should be resistant to change, but the reality is, as everything changes, you know, these trees will be gone, the cloudy skies will move on, the sun will come out. It's always changing, and we're always changing within. So, through the whole essence of time that it takes to write these books, it's going to take probably, you know, several years to do this. So, there's going to be a natural evolution evident within myself, and I'm using that as a demonstration to show that um, the path of Christhood, the path of spiritual evolution, it's gradual and, and we are meant to constantly keep transcending. So um, I'm also aiming to share real life experiences that I have been through and continue to go through, which are experiences where you know we can all relate to it experiences where um, trauma has been sustained such as um, healing myself from chronic illness dealing with grief dealing with toxic relationships just all the things that everybody can relate to but there is a way out of all of this and there is a way to find peace and so through you know, sharing the past and then also bringing it into the now, into the future, showing that there's ways to forgive and to let go and that it is possible to find peace um, after sustaining masses of trauma. So I share with you all of that. Um, I'm also sharing um, various spiritual practices. There's a million and one things out there where ideas of things that you can do. So um, I'm just sharing, you know, what's worked for me. But it's, there is, you know, there are very definite absolutes of, you know, what does and doesn't work and such as meditation is always wonderful and um, prayer is, is you know, just works fantastically. So I just share all the various ideas and spiritual practices that will help um, anyone along the way to give ideas for um, you on your spiritual journey. And one of those which is one of the main um, thrusts behind this book, these books, and that is to connect with the true teachers of mankind. We have so many different um, guides being offered to us, you know, and and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. But there there are beings in the spirit realm who have who have been through exactly what we've been through, and they have broken the cycle of reincarnation. And they're known as the ascended masters, and they're the teachers who can really who can help us get through this all, who can help us see through the illusion of the world and what it presents to us. So I am introducing the masters little bit by little bit. So in Theodora, um, I introduced seven of the masters and, and you can feel there's a very big difference as I come into oneness with these masters in the writing. Like, you, yes, there's an essence of, of the qualities that they bring through and and you can see in my own self like how 
the masters communicate with us and and how they work with us and in the next book along Gracia which I'm currently writing there's actually some dictations coming through from the masters um, such as Jesus and Mother Mary and Guru Ma so you'll actually be hearing you know direct messages from the ascended masters and it's not something that's unique to me it's something that anyone and everyone can do like they the masters are our friends the masters are our brothers and sisters who are there to help us and they're there for us always and in a world where you know you can be surrounded by people um it, it can be quite a loveless and a quite a lonely world sometimes but the masters will never disappear and i tell you at the age of 50 you know with the age which i've currently reached um i've i don't feel alone anymore i can spit i can be here alone and there's absolutely nothing i'm missing in my heart because i am always surrounded by love and it's not like a forced feeling it's just i know it i am so i hope that this video will illuminate some further ideas as to what this series is about and what it holds for you and so with that, I just wish you a beautiful, drizzly day as it is right now. There's just rain lovely, lightly falling here upon us. Okay, goodbye.